Hi there, I was watching It's Siobhan and I'm going to be doing my April book haul. I didn't get as many books this month as I did last time because that was just like a collective haul from like February and March. So let's just get right into it. The first book I got was from, I think, all of these apart from three books are from Tesco's. Because I go there every Saturday so I just always have a no little nosy. Uh, but the w first book that I was I ordered online was for the owls was Stocking Jack the Ripper. I already read it. <laughs> uh, that'll be in my uh, April wrap up. This was amazing. I ended up giving it five stars. It's just like another take on the classic Jack the Ripper, but I love it. It was so good, and I really can't wait to get my hands on the second and third one in the series um, with Audrey Rose as the character Hunting Prince Dracula and Escaping from Houdini really can't wait to get my hands on that one then I got a I had to replace a book that I got damaged by water it was uh, James Patterson's Violets are Blue because this is the one I got damaged it's all warped from the water and also the back cover you can't really see because it's sun, but it's like falling off. So I had to replace it. But I found it really cheap on eBay, so it was like two pound or something. Uh, violets are blue, just the same one. It's slightly different. There's uh, violets on this one, and there's just plain barbed wire on this one, and the uh, it's not foiled on this one. But I think this is the more common cover for this one. But I'm fine, it's just the same story and all that, so I just needed to replace it. <laughs> it's just about like two guys going around killing people. Uh, they think they're vampires, apparently. <laughs> it's really gross and creepy because I already started it. Uh, it's, it's classic James Parson, gruesome. You know, it's weird. It is really a weird story though, but it's, so far it was good. Uh, the next one I got online was uh, Scared to Death by Al Gibbons. I read this back when I was in the academy, probably over 10 years ago. I just remember sitting in the library reading it, but I could not for the life of me find it anywhere. I don't know why, uh, but I've been looking, it, looking for it for quite a few years. And it's just basically another take on Jack the Ripper. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little bit obsessed with him and his story. But yeah, uh, so I'm going to read this in May. But this, I just remember loving this so much. Um, I don't know, it's just going to be sentimental to reread it. It's going to be so good. Um, the books I got from Tesco's was... Uh, Dark Side by Belinda Bauer, I think that's how you say it. Uh, I'm not sure what it's about. The question is, who is hunting who? In a small village where no stranger goes unnoticed, a local woman has been murdered in her bed. This is PC Jonas Hawley's first murder investigation, but he is distracted by anonymous messages that seem to come from the killer. Is Jonas going to be able to solve the crime whilst being taunted by a psychopath? <laughs> definitely sounds like something I read. I also have another book by this person, uh, Snap. I have that down on my um, like thriller crime shelf. But yeah, always going to be good. Uh, the other one is I got Die Trying by Lee Child. It's the second in the Jack Reacher series. I just read the first one. So I didn't have the second one. I do have a lot of the series, but just not this one. So I couldn't really continue without getting it. So there's quite a few of the Jack Reacher books in Tesco's right now. So I just by chance was like, oh, please be in, please be in. And it was, so I got it, yay. So that's really cool. A Chicago street in bright sunshine, a young woman struggling on crutches. He offers her a steady arm. Uh, chained in a dark van racing across America, Reacher doesn't know why they've been kidnapped. 
The woman claims to be FBI, is certainly tough enough, but at their remote destinations, will raw courage be enough to overcome the hopeless odds? Ooh, <laughs> sounds uh, pretty fast-paced though. Hopefully it will be. Although it's quite a big book, there's probably... Oh yeah, there's more than the first one, it's over 500. It's like almost like 540 pages. Always gonna be good. Uh, the next one I got was Twisted by Steve Kavanagh. I think that's how you say it. Um, Never let murder get in the way of a good story. It's from the author of 13. I did see 13 in Tesco's for quite a while, but I ended up not picking it up and I wish I had before it went out, but I'll probably find it online somewhere. It's, before you read this book, I want you to know three things. The police are looking to charge me with murder. No one knows who I am or how I did it. If you think you've found me, I'm coming for you next. <laughs> After you read this book, you'll know the truth is far more twisted. <laughs> Sounds like a psychological thriller. I'll probably really enjoy that. Hope it's really going to be it. And the last book I got this month was The Death of Mrs. Westerway. I think that's what you say, by Ruth Ware. I haven't read any of her other books. I do have quite a few of them, like Woman in Cabin 10 and all that, but I just haven't read them yet. But uh, I saw books of Lala read this and enjoyed it, so I'm hoping it's going to be good based on her like recommendation and stuff. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. It's uh, when Harriet Westerway receives an unexpected letter telling her she's inherited a substantial bequest from her Cornish grandmother, it seems like the answer to her prayers. There's just one problem. Hal's real grandparents died more than 20 years ago. <laughs> Hal desperately needs the cash and makes a choice that will change her life forever. She knows that her skills are a seaside fortune teller. Oh, she knows that her skills as a seaside fortune teller could help her con her way to getting the money. Oh, she seems like an unreliable uh, character then. Oh, I do like an uh, unreliable character. Uh, but once Hal embarks on her deception, there's no going back. She keep, she must keep going or risk losing everything, even her life. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. I may have to get to that soon. So I think that's all the books I got this month. Um, but yeah. Uh, my... Social media links are in the description, uh, my Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.